Hello everyone. Today in this video we'll be discussing how to deal with part B that is drawing or design questions of the previous year paper. What should be your approach while attempting them? So let's start the discussion without wasting any time. Every year Seed uploads its question paper for the aspirants to understand the exam pattern. Now the question is do we need to draw or design the part B questions? Also, there are NID NIFT drawing questions available on internet. Shall I attempt them? The answer is yes, you should. But then the question is how? To answer this, let us understand the two basic elements required to score well in this part of the exam. Now, before I proceed, it will be difficult for me to generalize all the stream specific design questions for NID MDES in one video, but I'm sure you can take some useful information from this video. Basically, there are two such elements. First, thinking ability. Now this is a broad term in itself. It includes thinking logically, creative thinking and critical thinking. Second, drawing sketching ability, which we obviously practice a lot. Now please observe that I have prioritized thinking ability and not drawing or sketching skills because that is a fact that we miss while preparing for this exam. We have to understand the difference between an artist and a designer. The work of any designer is to come up with ideas and to convey their idea a visual medium is the best solution. And that's why you are asked to draw. So drawing is just one aspect of designing. Now let's come to the first part, thinking ability. How to think or what should be the thought process while attempting a previous year question? Now the question in this section can be either A idea based, B memory based. These memory-based questions may include composition, process drawing, etc. But here we are dealing with idea-based question. So while attempting a design or idea-based PYQ, try not to think of a design from scratch, but try thinking of making some additional changes in the available product, thing, wireframe or schemes. Please mark this point. This is the most important feature that helps you fetch marks in the exam. They are not looking for a genius innovation in 30 minutes question, but your ability to think. Do you remember when we tried solving a question where we were supposed to come up with an idea to help a specially able person pour milk in the glass? We did not try of thinking a world best product, but something that can be made at home. Now that is design. Now once you have attempted a question, next comes the evaluation of your work. Firstly, do a self-assessment. Look at your work and ask a few questions. For example, have you answered the question? Second, is it feasible? Means how difficult or easy it is to test the design in the real world. Third, is it cost effective? I know this point may not be applicable in many question types, but wherever applicable, do keep a note of it. Fourth, is it conveying what you intend to convey? That means you thought of an idea before attempting a question, you constructed an image in your mind is it the same image on the paper? Apart from this, to get evaluated, you can share your work within your study group or in our telegram group and ask students to evaluate it. And if few other students also do the same, it will help you all develop a different perspective of the same question. Remember, these are subjective questions. There is no correct solution to these questions. The point is, how close you can get to the demand of that question. So every answer is the right answer here. Try solving questions in this way and I'm sure after 5 to 8 questions you'll be confident enough to attempt the paper. 